Lubbock, Texas. We're going to debate that conference right now. Yes. Cannot wait to be in Lubbock. <laughs> uh, all right. So there's only been 20 Big 12 men's championships ever. Colorado won the first 12. Yeah. Oklahoma State has won the last eight. Now, Meg, they have a bad to the bone. B to the B, even, some might say. They do. Top three. They Hassan Abdi, Josh Thompson, and Sylvester Barris. If they add Sirach Gebru to that this weekend, and we haven't seen him yet this year, if they add him, they're going to be unstoppable. But if they don't, then, could there be Do you think? a cyclone coming into town to break up the hegemony yeah. of the state? I feel like in the recent years, we've always talked about the Iowa State women, but this year, yes. this men's program, they're, they're on the rise. They only lost. We talk about Iona as a podium team, and we should. Iowa State was only 20 points behind Iona at Wisco. So they haven't run Dan Kurtz, they haven't run Dan Rodriguez. If one or both of those guys run and Oklahoma State's just a little bit off, it's a legit team. This is a, this is a top 10, top 15 quality team. Uh, that's going to be the men. It's going to be Oklahoma State, Iowa State, banging heads. What about the women? What about the women? Well, I'll take that. Iowa, Iowa State, they, they've been one of the top programs in the nation in the last five, six years. Shout out Andrea Grove McDonough. Shout out right there. So on the women's side, they're definitely going to contend. Last year they were upset. I would say it was an upset by Shock. Oklahoma State. Who ended up finishing in the top 10 in NCAA. So Oklahoma State, we only have them ranked 23rd right now. What's going to happen? Are we going to see NCAA mile champion Kayla Edwards? We might. If we don't, it's going to be really hard, in my opinion, for the Cowgirls. To win Just my it. opinion. Just my opinion, though. They didn't look super great at Penn State. Natalie Baker was 41st last year in the NCAA championships, and she was way in the hundreds at Penn State. Not sure what's going on right there, but a team that could be a first-time Big 12 champion. I'm talking about the Baylor women. Baylor, 30th last year at Wisconsin. This year, fifth. They've got, a, they've got a solid top four. They've got a new transfer in, and they're they're rocking it. Their downfall might be that their fifth runner was a full minute behind their fourth runner at Wisconsin. In which case, Cyclones, they want they want to get back to the top after that upset last year. Perez Rochich, Rochich and Aaron Hooker, they went one two at this meet last year. They're back. Rochich didn't look great at Wisconsin. She finished in the 50th, but Aaron Hooker was in the top 30, solid right there. And like not debuting some of their men. Brandon McDougall, she's a Canadian freshman. She's, I believe, the Canadian junior record holder in the outdoor 5K. She's doing like 1540. Yeah, and she hasn't even raced yet. So put her in the lineup. This is the team. This is the team right here. So you can catch all the action live on Flow Track beginning at 10 a.m. Central this Saturday. Yes. Who, who's number one? We'll find out in Lubbock.